This is the first video of the number theory series, and um, to start this video, we're going to be talking about some theorems required for proving the first theorem that we're going to prove, which is the basis representation theorem. But this video is just going to cover two short theorems that we're going to go over. The first theorem says that k to the n minus 1 over k minus 1 for all, uh, for all values of k, for all k which are element of, you know, natural numbers, and k can equal 1, because then the denominator is 0. Uh, for all k that meet those conditions, k to the n minus 1 over k minus 1 is equivalent to the sum, the sum of writing from j equals 0, k to the j, n minus 1. And that's just writing k to the 0 plus k to the 1 plus k to the 2, dot 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 all the way to k to the n minus 1. And this is easy to prove. We can just use geometric series. So um, this is a geometric series with common ratio equals k. And it's finite geometric series. So our formula is going to be t1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So t1 is k to the 0, which is 1. 1 minus r is k in this case. And n is how many how many terms there are in the sequence. So going from 0 to n minus 1, there's n terms. And 1 minus r again is 1 minus k. And this, if we just apply a negative 1 to both sides, so if we multiply a negative 1 over negative 1, we're allowed to flip these fractions, so it becomes 1 minus k to the n over 1 minus k. Which, sorry, becomes, uh, which becomes what we know as k to the n minus 1 over k minus 1 after we apply the negative 1, negative 1, and we see that that's what it is in the beginning. So I'll keep that theorem in mind, we'll be using that one. And the second theorem we're going to use is going to be more of an inequality. We're going to try to prove that for all k greater than 1, and we're going to have k be a natural number again, uh, we're going to prove that k to the n is greater than n. Okay, so... Um, First, let's write n as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus dot 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 plus 1. How many 1s are there? There's n. You can write any number like that. Just split it up into a bunch of 1s. And that is necessarily less than 1 plus k plus k squared plus dot 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 k to the n minus 1. And how many of these terms are there? There's n. So there's equal number of each of these terms, except k is greater than 1. So these are all greater than the subsequent 1s over here. So this is true. And we know that this, we know that this over here, taking a sidestep from our previous theorem, we know that this equals k to the n minus 1 over k minus 1. So <clears throat> if this equals that, then this is necessarily less, this is less than k to the n minus 1, which is the numerator. Because when you divide the numerator by some value, you get this. So therefore, the numerator is greater than that value. And so... And we know that k to the n minus 1 is less than k to the n, obviously. So taking our first value and our last value, and all these less than signs in between, we can just reduce it to say that n is less than k to the n. k to the n is greater than n. So keep those two theorems in mind. We'll be proving the basis representation theorem using them.